Live with ClickOrlando.com, this is News 6 at 6, getting results. She is using her unique voice to share a message after being chosen as one of the school's valedictorians. But there is much more to this local college student. How she made her voice heard today, despite not being able to speak. Tonight, a valedictorian at Rollins College is proving you can do anything you put your mind to. She is the first student with non-speaking autism to achieve the honor. And today, she finally got to address her fellow classmates during graduation in her own way. May 6 is Amanda Castro shows us how. Greetings to my fellow members of the elated class of 2022. Standing at the podium, Elizabeth Bonker uses her unique voice to address the class of 2022 at Rollins College, sharing her message not only with her fellow graduates, but with the world. I have typed this speech with one finger with a communication partner holding a keyboard. I am one of the lucky few non-speaking autistics who have been taught to type. At 15 months old, Elizabeth was diagnosed with non-speaking autism, doctors telling her family she wouldn't talk, but her mother refused to believe she wasn't there, seeking different treatments to help Elizabeth find her voice, learning at first to point to a letter board, and then eventually using a program to type her words one letter at a time. That one critical intervention unlocked my mind from its silent cage, enabling me to communicate and to be educated, like my hero Helen Keller. Elizabeth is one of five valedictorians who all earned perfect 4.0 GPAs. They chose her to deliver the speech Sunday morning to the graduating class of more than 500 students. Elizabeth encouraging them to follow the words of Rollins alum and television's beloved neighbor, Fred Rogers. Life is for service. Rollins has instilled in all of us that service to others gives meaning to our own lives and to those we serve. She's continuing her service after graduation with her nonprofit, Communication for All. She says her mission is to make communication accessible to the 31 million people worldwide with non-speaking autism. My life will be dedicated to relieving them from suffering in silence and to giving them voices to choose their own way. Congratulations, class of 22. In front of college faculty, staff, and family, Elizabeth and her fellow graduates crossed the stage, taking the next steps into their futures. And she left them with one final request. God gave you a voice. Use it. And no, the irony of a non-speaking autistic encouraging you to use your voice is not lost on me. Because if you can see the worth in me, then you can see the worth in everyone you meet. Amanda Castro, Getting Results, New 6. So wow. well said. Absolutely incredible. Huge congratulations to Elizabeth. Yeah, wow. absolutely. What an amazing story.